Hello and welcome to WA Notifier. In this video, we'll show you how you can set up your number with WhatsApp API and then integrate that with our tool by generating your custom WhatsApp API credentials. If you already have these credentials from the Meta Developers portal, feel free to enter them in the form below and you can skip the rest of this video. However, if you don't have the API credentials, continue watching and we'll guide you through obtaining them. Before we start, it's crucial to understand that WhatsApp requires the following four things to allow you to use their API. If you lack any of these, unfortunately, you won't be able to use the API. Firstly, you need a phone number that isn't already connected with WhatsApp or the WhatsApp Business Mobile app. Secondly, you must have a registered business with some form of legal documentation. For those in India, a GST number is mandatory. Thirdly, you must have a website with a privacy policy page. Lastly, you need a payment method, such as a debit or credit card, which will be added to the WhatsApp portal for API billing. Kindly note that WhatsApp API is not free and you need to pay WhatsApp a small per message fee for each message you send using the API. If you need to arrange any of these, feel free to pause the video and return when you're ready. Great, let's get started. Setting up the WhatsApp Cloud API is a seven-step process. The first step is to create an app on MetaPortal. To do this, navigate to developers.facebook.com. If you don't have an account, please create one and log in. Then, click on My Apps. Begin by clicking on Create App here. Choose Other at the bottom as your option and proceed by clicking Next. Now, select Business and continue by clicking Next. At this point, you'll need to input your app name. Next, select your business account. If you already have one, choose it from the drop-down. Or you can stick with the pre-selected option and click on the Create App button. Now, scroll down to find WhatsApp and click on the Setup button. From here, you can select an existing business if you have one or choose the Create a new business account option and then click Continue. Congratulations, we've successfully completed step one. Now, let's proceed to step two, adding your phone number. Click on API Setup and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click on Add Phone Number. Here, input your business name and website, select your country, and then click Next. Now, input your display name. You can keep this the same as your company name. Select your time zone, choose a category, and then click Next. Select your country code and input your phone number. Then, click Next. Enter the verification code you received and click Next. Fantastic! We've successfully added our phone number. You might notice some errors, but don't worry. We'll address these in subsequent steps. Next step is to configure the webhooks. To configure it, navigate to the configuration section and click on the edit icon. Now, return to the website and copy the callback URL and paste it in the callback URL field. Go back and copy the verify token and paste that in verify token field and then click on verify and save. Click on the manage button and subscribe to all the fields shown in the pop-up. Then click on done. The next step is to generate a permanent access token. To do this, go to the app dashboard and open the business settings. Navigate to system users, click on add and then click on I accept. Add a system name. In this case, we'll use system. Select the system user role as admin and click on create system user. Accept the terms by clicking on I accept, then click on done. Next, click on add assets. Navigate to apps. Select the app you created and click on manage app option, then save changes. Click on done. Click on the generate new token button. Select your app and choose never as the option. Scroll down and select the WhatsApp Business Messaging and WhatsApp Business Management options. Then click on Generate Token. Copy this token and return to the website to paste it here. With that, we've completed the fourth step. Now, let's proceed to add a payment method. To do this, we need to return to the business settings. Close the current tab, then navigate to WhatsApp Accounts. From there, click on Settings and then Payment Settings. Here, select the Add Payment Method button 
Choose your country currency and set the time zone before clicking on next. After that, click on next again. Once you've entered your card details, click the save button. Great, our payment method has been added. Now, let's input our business details. After you've filled in all the necessary information, click on the save button. We've successfully completed this step as well. Next, we'll move to step 6. Return to the page you were on previously. Click on this toggle here and then select basic settings. Here, input the privacy policy URL from your website and click on save changes. Then, click on this toggle again. We've successfully completed this step as well. Now, we'll proceed to the final step, save and validate credentials. For this, we need to return to the API setup page. Ensure that your new phone number is selected in the from field. Proceed by copying the phone number ID and pasting it into the phone number ID field. Next, copy the business account ID and paste it into the WhatsApp business account ID field. Once you've done this, click on save and validate. This completes your setup for the WhatsApp Cloud API with WA Notifier. If you require assistance, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you inside.